Hey guys, so I'm here today to film my American Eagle curvy jean haul as well as a couple other things uh, for fall. Uh, my birthday was in September, at the beginning of September, and so I basically, as I explained in my last fall haul for my birthday, I always just like go shopping, like my gift from my husband to me. We share a bank account, so like I don't really need him to buy me something. I would rather just buy stuff for fall, and as I've gained weight over the past year, um, some of the jeans in, the, in my drawer are uh, getting snug. So I wanted to buy some new jeans, and in the summer I bought uh, the American Eagle curvy jeans and the curvy shorts, and truly, they're the only jeans I wear if I can help it. I don't wear any of my other jeans, really. It's just my curvy jeans. They are the most comfortable jeans. They cinch in my waist. They fit me like a fucking glove. So I knew I needed to, I wanted to buy more in the fall and they had some new patterns and stuff out. So I placed an order. Uh, so before I get into this video, you should subscribe to my channel every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm just a mid-sized girl trying to find clothes that fit me, my ass <laughs> and hide my stomach. Uh, so you should subscribe if you're also cut that kind of girl because I feel like that's every normal girl in the world But there aren't a lot of us on YouTube uh, So as I said, I placed an order from American Eagle I will say I waited to place my order from American Eagle because the key with American Eagle is to wait for the right sale so There is always a sale whenever you go to the store It's always buy one get one half price on the jeans usually but I like it better if I can get them online because they're 25% off each that way you don't have to buy four to get the buy one get one half if you want to buy more than like a odd number also that way if you have to return a pair you uh don't have to like they fuck you around if it's buy one get one whereas if you it's not buy one get one you can kind of you just take your 20 you just take your jeans or turn them and you don't have to like buy another pair or like save money or like pay extra or whatever so that's why I like that and I was waiting for a good coupon code they give you a birthday coupon code for 15% off so I was going to use that then I got a coupon code in my uh, email for 20% off the entire store. Although after the, after I placed my order, there was a coupon code for 25% off the entire store. So always wait for a deal. So when I bought these, all the jeans were buy one, get one half price. And then there was a 25% off coupon. So I saved a hundred and hold on, let me double check. I think it was $108 I saved. I saved $107.80 and I spent 240 for four pairs of jeans, a pair of bathing suit bottoms, a belt, and a sweater. So it was originally $3.21 before tax, would have been about $3.50, and I paid $2.40 score. So the reason I wanted to place this order besides the fact that I need new jeans is that I saw that they had these new pattern jeans for fall, and I live for a pattern jean. I have always loved pattern jeans, so I knew I need to get some. I also need some new, they need to like come up with some colors. Like I need some burgundy jeans. I need some mustard jeans to get on, on an American Eagle. Cause I'm at a point in my life where literally the only jeans I want to wear are American Eagle because I love them that much. So they need to get on that. So the first pair I picked up are these leopard print ones. They are the curvy super high rise jegging. They're the next level stretch. Of course, I got these in a size 12 and I get the regular length. These were $59.95, but I got them for half price, so they were plus 20% off, so they were $23.98, which is a fucking steal for jeans at American Eagle. Um, and like I said, I get them at a regular length. I'm 5'2 and a half. I round up to 5'3, but I find that these aren't that long on me, and I find that the shorts almost like are a little bit too long on me, so I like to get the regular length, also because in the fall I'm just going to be uh, putting them in, let me take this off. I'm just going to be putting them in boots anyways. But yeah, I got these leopard print jeans. I like them because they, they have a pair of white ones with gray leopard prints on them. But I got these ones because I like them because like the, as you can see, the print is kind of faded. It's like this beautiful kind of like, almost like an orangey brown color with this faded kind of leopard print on it. I just absolutely love these. These are the super high rise jegging. I kind of like the regular high rise a little bit more as you'll see in the next jeans I got, but these ones only came in super high rise, but I do love that a lot of their new styles are coming in the curvy size. Like when they first came out with the curvy jeans, there were only a couple of styles, but now there's so many styles in the curvy jeans. And I will say, I did go into store and I tried on the regular jeans in this size. And while the 12 fit me, I probably would have had to go up to the 14, but then it probably would have been too big in the waist for me. So that's why I love the curvy jeans because I am the quintessential like curvy body type. I have 
all of my weight is in my butt and my thighs, but then I have a small waist. So I find that if I buy regular cut jeans, like in my last, my second to last haul, I bought some Target jeans and they're too big in the waist, but they fit me everywhere else. So I have to wear a belt, which I don't mind, but it's annoying. I like these because they're very much like the Fashion Nova style, which is why I used to buy the Fashion Nova jeans because they're that, they give you that butt room, but then they're small in the waist, so they kind of cinch you in. But my issue is that these are such a better quality than the Fashion Nova jeans. And I will say I looked, I was looking at Fashion Nova today because I wanted to see how much the jeans were to see like what the price difference is. So Fashion Nova jeans generally run for about $35 to $39. Usually there is a 30% off coupon. So um, they're about $25 to $30. That's US dollars though. So then I have to get it imported into Canada. Usually I can get free shipping within over $75, but then I might have to pay import duties. So, and like, they still end up being about the same as a forever or as an American Eagle jean if you're getting them buy one get one half price. And these, the quality in these is unmatched by Fashion Nova, just truly. My Fashion Nova jeans, they're cute and I liked them a lot, but I'm just at a point now where like, now that I've tried these jeans on, they're just, the quality is so much better. The stretch in the next level stretch is amazing. And these just fit me like nothing has ever fit me before. So I probably, I'm just gonna continue buying American Eagle jeans till I die, which is wild because I've like never shopped at American Eagle in my entire life and now I can't stop. That was a long rant, I'm sorry. Uh, so the next level, the next jeans I got are these red plaid ones. Ooh. These are the curvy high rise jegging, again, in a 12 regular. So these are not the super high rise, they're the regular high rise. These ones are originally $59.95 and I got them for $47.96. So that's the 20% off. Um, and the other, the leopard print ones are also originally $59.95. But again, never buy them full price. So I just am obsessed with this pattern. And if you can see, it's not red with black. It's like red with like a, almost like a purpley burgundy kind of plaid on it so that it looks more muted and I absolutely love it. They do also have these in a, on the website they look kind of like a burnt orange and I was really into it but when I tried them on in store they looked more brown and so I just decided to go with the red because they're just like my classic fall color. It's just a nice red color. I don't know if I told you but these are also curvy jeans. All the jeans I got are curvy jeans. I am literally never not buying curvy jeans. So these ones are the regular high rise, I believe. Yeah, these are curvy high rise. Other ones are next level high rise. So they're a little bit higher, but like honestly, probably this much higher. Like it's truly not that big of a difference. And I also kind of like the regular high rise fit better. I don't know why. I think it's because the super high rise, if I wear a crop top with it, they just kind of meet. Whereas these ones, if I wear a crop top with it, there is that sliver of skin, which I personally like better. But I mean, also once it gets really cold, I'll just be wearing sweaters anyway, so it won't really matter. But yeah, I absolutely love these. So then while I was on the website, I also decided to get just a pair of regular black jeans because like I said, these have become my favorite jeans. So I just wanted to get a pair of simple black ones. So I got these ones here, which were $47.96. Um, these are the curvy super high rise jegging next they're all the next level stretch these are in a size 12 again regular length and they are just a pair of plain black jeans now when i put the first two pairs on i was like okay yeah i like the regular high rise better so i was like maybe i'll exchange these ones for a regular high rise instead of a super high rise but then i put these ones on and i don't know what it i just feel like the fit and the waist of these ones is slightly different and that it just felt like it might be because it's black and black is kind of technically slimming, but it just felt like my waist was really cinched in these ones. And I put them on and I was like, I'm obsessed. So yeah, these are beautiful. I got, these ones are, there's a bunch of different black skinny jeans. These ones are in the shade Onyx Black because I wanted them to be as black as possible because I know that as I wash them, they will get lighter. So these are the AE360 Next Level Curvy Super High Waisted Jegging in Onyx Black. I will link all of these pants below so that you guys um, can see them in the flesh. So yeah, I really have nothing to say about these are just black jeans, but they're gorgeous. Okay, the next pair of jeans, I feel like I'm flying through this. The next pair of jeans are jeans I have been thinking about getting for a long time. They're mom jeans. Um, so I went into American Eagle and I tried on the regular mom jean, not the curvy ones, just the regular mom jean. And I'm a size 12 in the curvy, but the mom, mom jeans are more like kind of like a Levi. 
So when I tried on the 12, I was like, oh cool, breathing is not necessary to living or anything. But then I tried on the size 14 and even still, like I got them done up, but like sitting down made me want to die. So then I looked on the website and I saw that they had these ones. They are a stretch curvy mom jeans. So they're not next level stretch, but they are very stretchy. And um, I love the detailing in the knees. On these ones it's just like a big cutout in the knees and they're a little bit baggier in the legs and I will say I put them on and like I'm a little bit torn about how I feel about them I think it's mostly because I just this isn't a style I wear a lot my thing is because I have a big butt and thighs and even I have fat calves it's just who I am I'm not saying it to be ashamed of them I just I got thick calves I don't know but my thing is whenever I've tried on boyfriend jeans, which is kind of the same as a mom jean in the past, they're supposed to be a little bit looser fitting, I found that they are ju just fitted. Like they just fit me. And they're supposed to be a, like a looser fit and I've never been able to find a pair that has a looser fit. These ones do feel a little bit snug still, not snug, but like fitted in the butt and thighs. But I think that's what I want because I don't want a saggy butt. Um, and they are looser in the bottom. Now I did get these in a, so these are the Curvy Mom Jean 12 in a regular again. Now I thought about getting these in a short because the mom jeans in the pictures, it looked like you kind of wanted them to be slightly, like not cropped, but like you don't want them to be long. Cause like a skinny jean, if it bunches up at your ankles, it doesn't matter cause your foot is there, but these are looser in the bottom. As you can see, it's like a thicker bottom. So I didn't want them to be long, but then I was, look, I was looking at the pictures and they almost looked like they were slightly cropped. And I will say I got them in the regular and they are basically a slightly shorter jean than the uh, next level. So I would say if you're any taller than me, you should probably get the longs or be warned that these are slightly shorter than a regular jean at American Eagle. And if you're shorter than me, get the shorts. I thought about getting the shorts, but I think the shorts would have been too short on me, especially because like I said, I have fat calves, which like almost makes me have cankles. And I don't like, I hate cropped pants. So that's why I got the regulars and I am glad I got the regular because they do fit me perfectly. Let me know down below what you guys think about these on me. I think I'm gonna keep them. I think I like them, but I also feel like I probably need to wear these with like a fitted top just because they're not like something like a skinny jean, I can wear like an oversized sweater and it'll look cute because the skinny jean makes your body, your bottom half look skinnier. But because these are like a baggier one, I feel like I have to wear like a tighter crop top with this. I don't know. I kind of like them and I kind of don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> I'm torn. So tell me down below what you think about them on me. But I do love the wash of these. I love the holes. I love the distressing. This one has another little hole here and one uh, further down on this leg. I just think that like the style is super cute and these fit really well If you're curvy like me definitely try out the curvy mom jeans The regular mom jeans are a stiff denim whereas these are a nice comfortable denim which you'll like way more So that's all the jeans I got there are buy one get one half price so I don't know if I told you but the stretch curvy mom jeans were $23.98 a steal um, in the price cool classic um, and then I literally was like gonna place my order, but then I don't know if you guys follow Atlee on Instagram and YouTube, but she is a YouTuber who does like funky makeup and I absolutely love her. And then she posted a picture of herself in this sweater and I th said, bitch, I need that. And then she posted a swipe up and it was American Eagle and it was on sale. So this is the AE drop shoulder crew neck sweatshirt in the shade bright green. And it was $22.47 with the 20% off. And I think it was already like 20% off because it's originally $44.95. Um, I got this in the size medium. I probably could have gone for a large, but I do think that if I got a large, it might be too big because it is kind of like a boxy style sweater. This like chartreuse green is everything. And I truly can't describe how soft this sweater is. Like it is so soft the inside is like that really soft sweatshirt kind of fleecy material which is really nice because i find a lot of sweaters don't come with that like the one i'm wearing today is from target and the inside is just like rough not rough but like it's not soft whereas this just feels like i will say as i've been buying american eagle stuff recently this just feels they feel so high quality and while American Eagle is expensive I've always thought it was kind of expensive for what it is they always have sales so it kind of makes up for it like these sweaters were on for like 30 to 40 percent off and then I got another 20 percent off so like 20 bucks for this is a score steal I would never pay 45 for it though 
but I absolutely just love this sweater. And I believe like Robbie and Chrissy posted a picture with it. So Atlee bought it and then Atlee posted with it on Instagram and then I saw it and so I bought it. Influencers maybe buy it, totally. But yeah, I got this in a medium and I think it fits pretty well and I just like, it's so soft, I love it. Okay, and then I picked up a pair of bikini bottoms, which I am not thrilled to show you a clip of on the internet because it's weird, but um, my work goes to Asia every year for our a trip in December. Last year we went to Vietnam, this year we're going to the Philippines and we're going to, I think it's called Siargo and it's like a surf island. So like you're literally gonna be on an island all day. And so I've been looking at high cut bikini bottoms for a long time. So these are the Airy High Cut Cheeky Bikini Bottom. These were 1957, so a steal. I got them in a size large in the color True Black. I got black just because I figured they'll match everything and I just kind of wanted to try them and see how I felt about them. And I will say, these are cute and because they're high cut, they look a little thin in the front and I was definitely afraid that it was gonna be like, here's my vagina for the world to see, but when I put them on, like they, the coverage in the front was pretty nice. I was actually surprised. The coverage in the back, however, like I need also you guys to, to consult you guys on whether or not these are appropriate to wear on a work trip. Also, do I care? They're a little cheeky. I have a big butt. So I just am wondering like, can I wear these on a work trip? Can I not? Do I care? I have questions. I definitely think I'll totally wear these like in real life for sure. They're so cute and I definitely want to buy a couple more colors. They have so many colors in these. Like I think I have like a mustard yellow, but the mustard yellow was like a ribbed fabric and I find that ribbed fabric in general just isn't as like supportive in the waist as something like this is. But yeah, these fit me beautifully. I absolutely love them. I definitely think that if you're a curvy girl, you should check out the high-waisted cheekies because they just like make your body look good straight up. Like even, I was wearing like a halter top with this in the try on and I was like, she's cute. So yeah, I actually really like these and I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more pairs before my trip, even look at kind of some of their tops. So yeah, let me know, can I wear this on a work trip? Am I a hoe? Do I care? Um, and the last thing I picked up was a belt. In my last video, I told you guys that I put on a pair of jeans and then I put on a belt and my body was like, hey bitch, remember how you got fat? <laughs> lol your belt remembers and I cried and moved on with my life so I picked up this belt this is called the AE double D ring belt in the color brown and so what I love about this is that it's a dark brown belt but it has silver hardware do you know how hard it is to find a belt with silver hardware fucking impossible now this says it's genuine leather did I tell you how much this was this was $34.95 originally but got it for $27.96 um, it says it is 100% genuine cow leather. Like, don't tell me it's cow leather. I don't like to know that the animal products I'm consuming and using are animal things. Um, but my concern with this is I need to probably email them and ask them what type of metal this is. I don't, I fucking hate how belts are like genuine leather, but like what's the metal made out of? Because there's some belts that I could find. I believe H&M used to have belts that were nickel tested because I'm allergic to aluminum and different types of metal. So I need my belts to be nickel tested or I'm allergic to them. So I'm probably gonna have to email them and ask because I was looking at them. I was looking at all the shit on it today and nowhere does it say if it's nickel tested or what kind of type of metal this is. Like if it's stainless steel, I'm fine. But if it's some sort of cheap aluminum, I will break out and die. So I got this belt. I didn't try it on in the video because I mean, it's, it's a belt. You guys know what belts look like, I think. But I just like this kind of like double, has a kind of double buckle on it, which is really cute. And it's just a nice belt. So that is everything that I picked up from American Eagle. I am truly obsessed with the um, curvy jeans. Like I can't describe it. Let me know down below if you guys have tried the curvy jeans and what you think about them or if you like American Eagle jeans in general. I just like have never found a pair of jeans that fit me as well as the curvy jeans. The Fashion Nova jeans are probably the closest but I do find that the waists in the Fashion Nova jeans, they fit me everywhere else but the waists feel like I might die sometimes. Like sometimes you're sitting down and you have to like unbutton <laughs> them. Whereas the, and again there's like pilling, the zippers break, the, just like the quality of the jean is just not as good as an American Eagle jean. The American Eagle jeans, the quality is so good, the deals are so good. There's always a coupon code, 
never pay full price, never buy in store also for that same reason. So yeah, that is everything I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below uh, what you thought about the mom jeans and the bikini bottoms. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.